Hey there, this is Chris Kellett with 123muse.com. Let's take a look at our MailChimp simple sign-up widget. I'm going to just drag it on the, to the page here from the library. You can see that we have quite a few options uh, in this that allows us to get this styled up the way we want it to. Now the first thing is to grab the MailChimp code. Now let's go and get that. If we jump over to our browser, um, you'll need a MailChimp account for this, which are free to sign up. And in MailChimp, we see that w with our lists, um, we're going to go to the sign up forms and then the embedded forms. And you can see here that we have this option for the naked form. So it's a form without any styling. And we're going to switch everything off. We only need the required fields. So we, we just have this uh, very simple form here, and then the code is all here, so we're just going to copy all of that code. And going back to Muse here, and then you don't want to just use the code that's already in there because that will sign people up to our newsletters, which um, would be very nice, thank you very much, but I'm sure you want to use your own code. So you just paste the code in there and that updates the widget um, to be using your list. But then we have all of these options for styling up. We have some control in Muse itself, so the text, we can change the font using the by selecting the widget and using our text tool in Muse itself. So I can change the, the font here and we can, uh, if it just jumps under like that, we can just resize it. I don't really want to use that font. Um, so let's go back to Open Sans. So we can change some of the look and feel with Muse itself, so the text. And you can see here that we have our background color, which we could set to transparent. So we do have some control there, but a lot of the control actually happens in the widget itself. So with our box padding, this relates to the padding around the unit itself. So we can change that to give us more space around the, the form itself. We can change the element spacing. This is the spacing between these uh, the two elements here. So for example, if we switch the element spacing to zero and we changed our form radius to none, we can see we create this sign up form with this nice connected button. We can show and hide the the label here. If we just change the size of this, um, then by using our text tools here, if we change the leading to let's say 200, that gives us a bit more space between those elements there. Let's change that text to white and let's change the background color to say black. And we can switch the corner radius off and you can see that we can really um, have quite a lot of control over what uh, what this actually looks like. Then we have a section for the input box that controls everything to do with this. We have border color, hover states, and then we have the button itself as well. We can change that. We can change the text in that box. We can change it to be capitalized text, upper and lower case. So lots of control here. And this is a really fast way of putting a newsletter sign up form onto your page using MailChimp. Thanks for watching.